Welcome back everybody, this is Jason Seacrest and we are going to finish up our duck. We are going to do uh, some fun with halftones, we are going to do some fun with gradients. I did get some requests for more gradient tutorials, so we are going to add in uh, a few gradients. So in our resources, you are going to notice that I have a halftone highlights. It is going to be in our texture folder and you can really pick and choose we've got some different ones some of them are going to be chunkier than others and what we are going to be looking for is just notice that there is a highlight and then they're going to taper out I think I want it to be a little bit chunkier and I think that is going to be pretty good so I'm going to just grab it I'm going to go control C I'm going to come over to our duck now we've been working with our shadows and what I pretty much want to do is I think I'm going to do a new layer just where we can plop it down and we're going to be using our gradients that layer that we have not touched yet we're going to be using that to do some cutouts so I'm going to just have our layer 10 I'm going to go control F and that is just going to paste it in front and so we have some pretty chunky half tones now the major part that we're going to be just doing is where do you want that highlight to go so I'm going to say that looks pretty good I'm just going to grab it let's just color it our green for right now so I'm just going to grab our not our super dark where our inking is I want that shadow color and what's going to happen is it's going to fade out get ready we're going to get fancy here is I want to take and we can pretty much just come back to our shadow is notice that we have not cut things out yet and the only thing I want to do is I do want to cut out this little part so notice that this part did not have her beak yet so I'm going to do it real quick so I'm just going to do a cut through right there now I can color this yellow and it really doesn't matter what color just as long as it is a different color than that green so I'm gonna go control zero alright you guys ready this we're gonna get fancy so I'm gonna go magic wand I am gonna grab just the green notice that it is just the green I'm gonna go control C so I'm going to copy it, let's lock it out, let's just hide it for right now. Let us come on back. I am going to go control F and it's going to paste in front. So we can almost hide all of this other stuff. So this is pretty much the layer that I am dealing with. Now what we are going to do is I'm going to grab this green and it is a different green by the way so you should be able to just use your magic wand. Now since things are cut out, notice that things are floating we're gonna do this twice so I'm gonna come up to the top and it's gonna sound complicated and it's just you clicking a button so we are gonna make two compound paths we are gonna do one for this light green so I'm gonna come over here and just make so again just up at the top object drop down to compound path make and all that means is all these little floaters that are separate and really the only floaters are this hand and this little piece of cheek right here that those are now gonna be seen as one big shape so let's do it for our half tone as well. Object, compound path, and make. Now this is the cool part. All of these are now one big shape. So we can now come into Pathfinder, and now we can start having some fun. Now I'm gonna say it's gonna be this one right here. So let's click on our intersect and let's just see if I guessed correctly. If we did it correctly, it is going to give us a half tone in the shape of our duck and sometimes life is good so notice that everything is just a half tone so if for some odd reason it kind of disappeared or big giant objects like your arm disappeared and that little cheek disappeared then pretty much all that just happened is you didn't do a compound path on one of those shapes so notice that we did it twice so now we have a nice little half tone let's just see what we have so there's our duck that was our gradient layer and those are our base colors so what I want to do is I want to grab our halftone layer and it did switch the colors I don't know if you were able to tell that or not so notice it's this light green I wanted it to be that dark green and then we'll be able to pop it through so I'm still on that halftone layer is we are gonna do similar process Let's do halftone. 
Now again, if this is too chunky, I might even say, you might see me come back in and do the smaller version. So let's just do this smaller version. I'm gonna go Control C, and let's do the smaller version for the yellow. Same thing, lock it out, do a whole separate layer for the yellow. I'm gonna go Control F, and now I'm just looking at that yellow. Again, you can position it to so the highlight is going where you want. Now I am going to, let's just hide that for right now. Let's come back to that gradient. I am gonna use my magic wand. Let's just unlock it. So I'm on my gradient layer. Let's just grab our yellow. Let's do it again, Control C. Let's just lock it out. So I am on my new layer that I just built. I'm gonna go Control F, so I just pasted that back in front. And now we are gonna do same thing again. Again, let's just hide our lines. So notice that these yellows, that they're floating. So I wanna grab my magic wand, grab my yellows, object, compound path, make. So now all of these floaters are now seen as one big shape. Let's grab our halftone, let's do the same thing. Object, compound path, make. So notice that the yellow is in front, by the way. Grab that black, come over. We have done the compound path twice, intersect, and that halftone should just appear in our yellow areas. While it is still selected, let's just color it that dark. All right, I think I am okay with that. So we've got our dark lights. So let's come back to this gradient layer. Let's just drag it on top. So everything is locked out. I am just on this gradient layer. And you're gonna notice pretty quick, quickly that we just hit everything. So this is something where if you say, hey, I like how chunky everything is, then you can basically leave it. Since I want it to be a little bit more subtle and I want you guys to practice gradients, we're gonna do it this way. So for gradients, notice that everything is nice and big. Now if you wanted to, I think we're gonna do some compound paths for all of these, but we're gonna do it on the fly so you can actually see what the difference is. So I'm gonna come over to gradient, I'm gonna select linear, and as long as it's going in the direction of our light source, it'll actually work out pretty nicely. So. Just notice that if I have one, two, let's grab this one. So if it's all this, just pay attention to that little floater has its own individual gradient. The hand has its own gradient. So this hand, I actually think that's, that works out pretty well. That doesn't bother me. This cheek, I want that to have the same gradient as that body. So what I'm gonna do is the same thing we just did, object, compound path, make, and just pay attention to that cheek. It's now gonna flow in the same direction. That's all that means. So just think compound path, it is one big compound shape. Let's select the green. I'm gonna drop it down to maybe 30. Let's grab that white, double click. Maybe we'll just do our green. Just see how light and or dark we want it. Let's drop down to 30. Let's pop it back up. So again, this is where we get to kinda how subtle and or not subtle, do you want all of those half tones to be? So this is where we can start to cover things up if you wanted to. You can also modify each one of these colors. I think I like that. All right, let's do the same thing. I'm gonna do magic wand. I am gonna grab all of the yellow. And I'm just seeing what I might want a compound path. So if I don't do a compound path, I'm just gonna click it first. Everything's gonna be green, by the way. I'm just gonna double click, let's do a light yellow, come over here, let's do our dark yellow, and just kinda see how that plays out. Now for this dark, I think I want to drop that down, well let's drop it down to 20, that looks good. I'm going to click on that one, and I'm just doing some subtle little things. So notice that we lost a lot of the halftone up here, this one's getting pretty subtle, I am not too concerned with that, I think that looks okay. So let's leave that alone. I am gonna grab my eyeball. I want that one to be radial. I want the highlight to be white. 
So I'm going to drop it down pretty hard. I want that to be, let's do 100%. So notice that this white is 100%. Notice that there's this nice little slider. So I want most of that to get pushed away. And what I'm basically looking at is does that pop in where I want it to. So next little thing is while I have that selected, I'm going to come over to my gradient tool, just click it. And all I want to do is take the center and wherever I think that highlight is going to get the most, I'm going to click it and then I can drag that all the way out. I have a feeling I'm going to like a gray a little bit nicer. Okay, so I'm just I just switch switch the blue to gray. So I grab the pupils, light, dark. And I think I do want to pop that up. Looking good. We are almost done. So let's lock out that layer. If you guys have gone this far, you guys are cranking through this, by the way. Good job. So the only thing we haven't come back to is remember we had this nice background layer. And let's just hide everything just so you can see the thought process. So if I come over to background, we have one big shape. So I'm going to unlock it. I'm going to grab everything and just notice that we have all of the stuff that we just did above it. So I'm going to come over to our Pathfinder and then I'm going to click Unite and all I'm looking for is a big giant silhouette. So as long as we have a silhouette, we are good to go. Let's just color that light green and this is what we're going to do. I'm going to do Object. I want to drop down to Path. I want an Offset Path. I'm going to preview, and what I think I want is a round, and I want it to be pretty chunky. That looks pretty good to me. Let's just do, actually, I think I'm okay with that. So I'm going to click on OK. Now, while everything is still selected, I think I want this to be pretty off-white. So it's just something lighter. Everything is still being selected, by the way. So notice we have these overlaps. So I'm going to come over and just unite. If I am freaked out about that, just go Arrange, Send Back. Remember, this really doesn't mean anything. We have all of our stuff in the front, by the way. And I just want to fill, see this little negative? I just want to fill that in. So I'm going to click on my minus. And I can either get rid of them all this way, just delete all of those. They'll, you'll see that it'll all go. And or I can go Shift-B. Shift-B is my blob brush. Just fill those in. Now, if I get a little blob, just select them both, hold down shift, and then unite. Let's do it. So notice I'm still on that background, by the way. Now what I want to do is I want to ungroup. So notice that it did group. I want to grab just this little one, and I want a real subtle white. This is me getting picky on you. I know. I'm going to go path. We are going to do an offset path again. Everything's going to be the same. The only difference is I'm going to drop that down. I want to do 025. So it's going to be really, really subtle. So notice there's that little green. Click on OK. And I want that to be a nice little white. I'm going to go Control, minus, minus. Come over. We are almost there, guys. You guys, if you made it through this one, you are a challenge. You are 10 times better at this point. I am right-clicking, arranging, and I want to send that all the way to the back. Let's just come over to the top, center, center. I would like to do a radial pattern. Let's just double click. So this will be green. So I want a kind of a light green. Double click. I want our dark green. You're going to notice that it is low in percentages. So I just want to double check that each one of those is 100. I'm just grabbing our little slider here. This might be a little bit too dark. Let's see if I like that better. All right, I like that. So again, I can adjust how far out everything is. And if you ever get an extra one, just pull it off. I think I like where that is. I'm going to click on our gradient tool, and I just want our highlight to go where our highlight was. I might do one subtle thing. I think I want to take our dark, and we're going to do a little cast shadow with this one. You do not necessarily need to do this, but since you're cranking along this far, why not? So we're going to do this. I'm going to take black arrow, 
I'm going to grab my backbone. I'm going to go Control C. I'm going to go Control B, as in boy. And that is going to be our dark. Now, nothing should pop up. Now, keep in mind, Control B is paste in back. So what I want is a little drop shadow just to pop this guy out. So little tiny drop shadow. Now, everything, you could totally just do this. Everything will work out great, but since we want our practice, why not? So what we want to do is just get rid of it. We're going to do a little bit of Pathfinder just because I'm being evil right now. So we're going to go Control C, Control F, paste in front. Pink is going to disappear on us. So if I do this real quick, notice that our other one is still there. So I have a pink. Let's grab our green. And I'm just going to do a nice clean minus front. You're going to notice that the cream is going to pop back out. And then we just have that outline. Let's see if I want it to be a little bit more subtle. Man, file save done and done. Challenge accepted. You guys did it. We did a doozy today. So if you guys made it all the way through, definitely put that in. A uh, little last thing I can already see, just so we don't forget, is notice this pink. I'm on my gradient layer. Just click on delete and our shadows will pop back out. If you guys are going all the way through these, definitely put that into the comment section. And again, if you are struggling with any of this stuff, so if you are struggling, don't wait. Put that into the comments. Hey, I'm struggling, especially with your compound paths. But uh, thanks for hanging out and I will see you guys on the next challenge.